Hello, I'm Glenda Lewis. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. The TCF Center in downtown Detroit will open Friday as a huge alternative hospital. Governor Whitmer says it's a partnership between Henry Ford Health System, McLaren Healthcare, Beaumont Health, and the Detroit Medical Center. Michigan National Guard members have been helping FEMA set up the site that will have up to 1,000 beds. TCF will receive patients from other Southeast Michigan acute care hospitals. The center will not accept patients by ambulance or walk up, and it will not have intensive care unit area or provide care to patients who need ventilation. Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan shedding some positive light in the battle against the virus in Detroit. 25 people were lost Wednesday to COVID-19. That is a lower number than before. But one of those victims, Fire Captain Franklin Williams, a 31-year veteran who had a wife and seven children. Detroit police reporting that 35 groups, eight parties, and one beauty supply shop were shut down for being open on Wednesday. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your 7 First Alert forecast. Dave. It was kind of a wild day today with all the wind out there, the showers, the snow, grapple, hail, and rain as well. We get the wind some more tomorrow, but we lose the showers. That's not a problem. We get sunshine with a few clouds on Friday. Saturday's still dry. Easter Sunday looks wet, especially in the afternoon. Monday's wet and windy. All right, Dave, thank you. And a social work expert at the University of Michigan says stimulus checks might not reach those who need them the most. Many people are getting ready to collect up to $1,200 from the government to help with the financial strain caused by this pandemic. But Professor Terry Fredline says many minorities and lower income households are excluded from accessing that use of financial services that they need. She's calling on lawmakers to develop immediate legislation to respond to the problem. And healthcare workers from the Cleveland Clinic are heading to Metro Detroit. The volunteers will assist healthcare workers in our state and New York. Social distancing has been flattening the curve in Ohio, and that's freeing up more healthcare workers who may want to volunteer in other states. All right, in three, two, one. Still got some showers out there this evening, but they'll be decreasing in intensity and in number as well as we go throughout the evening now. You'll see some clearing uh, toward morning, and we're pretty good sunshine, I think, on Friday. We start with a few clouds, but not too many, and there'll just be a few hanging around. So temperatures falling from the 40s to the 30s this evening. The showers will be decreasing as we go along, especially after about 9, 10 o'clock or so. 32 for a low in Detroit. There could be some upper 20s. That's just temperatures. Wind chills should all be in the 20s to start Friday. The nice thing is we get some sunshine. It doesn't help much, though, with the cold wind still blowing. At least it's a dry day. Same idea on Saturday. Easter Sunday, the later it gets in the day, the wetter we get. And there's more rain plus more wind coming up on Monday.